Welcome to my YouTube channel, which is all about Project World, project management, business and data analysis. My name is Polis and today we're going to cover a topic that will be more linked with the data analysis, which is how to use Excel type of files within SQL, local SQL databases. Why would you say this is important to you? Well, really, when I was learning SQL and working on the project, I found it very difficult to use the Excel files I have, maybe some sample files they have, um, and use SQL code to uh, get some insights. I think it's very important for any project manager and any project staff to know SQL because it's, uh, it's very simple language and there's a lot of businesses, or pretty much every single business really that uses the database is running on an SQL language or you can use SQL language even on the unstructured databases these days you can still use an SQL language. So today I'll show you step by step um, how you can take the file, download certain free apps uh, on your computer and how can you load that file and start using SQL language to get some useful insights. So let's go to my screen. But before that, before we go to my screen, don't forget to smash the like button because that will show you really enjoyed this video and I will give you more videos about uh, data analysis and maybe business analysis. All right, so we can see my screen here and Excel file we're gonna use, Airbnb example. Then we, we see what we hope to get at the end. So by the end of this, you will be getting this nice pivot table and your analysis around the average price. But first we need to get to my website where I have nice nicely layout steps. So we just need to know, write how to import Excel data to a local SQL database inside Spotter. And the first uh, line will be my website. When you click on it, just go straight um, to the steps and explanations with the screenshots. I have some helpful um, information around why would you want to do this. So, um, there, so for example, filtering is a, a great, um, great tool in SQL that allows very custom filtering options. So here we see the first step we need to do, which is to download SQL Server and install it. It's all for free. So when you press on it, you get to Microsoft website. We are going for Express version because it's for free. Just download it. And it's also, I think, a smaller one. When download, just press on it. And we're going to select the basic option here. We don't want to make things too complicated for us. All right, so when we select the basic option, we go accept. You don't need to change anything else in terms of location. Just press install. I'll skip here to the end because it'll take a little bit of time to download and install it. But if it's the first time you're doing this, it should be no problem. Um, which is just go run the course. There's nothing you need to do. Here we go. It's all done. Gives some basic information where everything's stored. For now, we're going to close it because we're going to go to our next step which is available on the website and the next step will be to install microsoft sql management studios you press on the link you get to the website you download again and guess what after you download it we're gonna install it we'll just go back to the website because there will be a few other steps that will help us to go move forward all right so we are here pressing on the what we have downloaded and just need to install to default location. When it's all done, I'm skipping to the end as well, just so that things don't get too boring watching this video. All right, so boom, all done. We close that and we're going to see what else do we need to do now. And it's the next step is very simple. We just need to open Microsoft SQL Management Studios and we will need to connect to our local SQL database that we have installed previously. So we selecting in the start menu SQL Management Studios. Uh, it'll take a little bit of time so don't worry. Uh, I'm skipping here while, while it's opening. Um, so it's open here, it says connect, really you just need to press connect but you can also check out on the website what you need to do next. The, you don't have to fill anything, you have to change anything, just press connect and it will connect directly 
to your local SQL database. All right. So now uh, we would want to go to next step to create our example database that we're going to use for our um, Airbnb analysis. And so you just need to do the right button on the database, new database. And we're going to use Airbnb underscore example as a name. Just press OK. And you're done. Right, so now you can see Airbnb an example, and we want to import the file. We're going to import flat file. That's what we call Excel files or similar files like CSV and text files. That brings us to a wizard that will help us go through the steps. Now, we want to get the file, right? So to get the file, you just need to go back to my website. I have, a, I have an example file you can use. If you have your own file, you can try using your own file. That's no problem. It should work the same way. When you save in your local drive, you'll need to remember the location, but press next. And now you just need to find that file where you download it. All right, so I already set it up so I can see it quickly. When you press next, you get preview of what's in the file. It's helpful because later on you'll need to advise what sort of type data types you have within your file. So maybe you need to allow to have some nulls, so blank cells, or you need to know whether it's a number, it's a text. And this is what we see. Because it's analysis, I'll allow all null values. And because I've done this before, I'll change all n var charts to um, uh, var charts max because I know that some of my values are a bit larger. Um, and really, don't you know think too much about this. Just select var charts if if you can't find the best type. Uh, floats for numbers if you can't find the best type. Maybe sometimes text would work as well. Um, the key is just to get it to the database where you could start writing some code. This is not like strategic data you need to maintain for a long period of time. It's just one-off analysis maybe or, or while the project is running. Before that, though, we need to select our primary key. It will help us later if we have more than one table. All right. Uh, actually, if there will be an errors, you'll see it here, but there's no errors. If you see errors, actually give you an uh, error message. You can copy, paste the error message and understand what the issues are. Maybe you need to change some types to something else. They normally suggest you that. Okay, so we have imported it. Now we'll try to write our new query. And our first query will be to check if actually I can see my table or results of my table that I've just imported. So I'm going to sele select all from our table. If you don't remember what the table name is, you can go and check on the database. Then we can't see it because it's just a new table and you need to refresh it. When you refresh it, you obviously start seeing the table there. It helps if you have multiple tables. But really, when you start typing the uh, SQL uh, server management should help you as well with that. All right. So you can we can see the data is there columns, headers, all that stuff. So now we'll do our pivots, our analysis. So we get some understanding about neighborhoods, right? The pricing, room types, all that stuff. So just, just type the code in. If you want to use this, if you know SQL and you want to check something else, you know, type whatever you want around this table to understand, to, to find out more about the data. Right. In my case, I just want to maybe, maybe I want to rent a, a new flat, right? I have a flat in New York, I think the date is here. And I just want to know how much can I charge for my new flat, right? So let's do that. I group by neighborhood room type. Uh, I get my neighborhood room ordered so that I see the date. And voila, we have our pivot table, our average prices. And we just used SQL on the Excel. It's actually very quick, very helpful, um, and I hope you use it on your project. So see you. So I hope you enjoyed my demonstration of how you can actually use Excel files, CSV files in local SQL database and how you can write code. There is much more information on my website. There's a lot about Project World. Uh, if you just go to Google and type inside Sporter, you will find it. And you also could find me on LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, smash the notification bell. I will have more videos for you available soon. And if you like this video, comment below and I will, as I said, give more data analysis type videos in the future. So see you in the next video. Bye.